Hi guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to unbrick your Xiaomi device. If it ends up in this fast boot state, uh, maybe you're installing ROM, you mess something up, um, it just keeps rebooting to fast boot. This should work on all Xiaomi devices. Now I just bricked my devices. This is a soft brick. Um, it just keeps rebooting to fast boot. Um, this is the second time happened in the last two days. And while I'm doing it, I thought I'd make a video um, anyways, since this is my second time. So let's go ahead and take a look. All right, first, you'll need a Windows computer because this MyUI flashing tool only supports Windows. Um, go ahead and connect it to your computer using a cable in that fast boot mode. All right, and let's go to our computer. All right, the first thing you'll need is Mi Flash. Go ahead and download this and install it. I've already installed it. Um, that's the actual program. And also make sure you have ADB drivers. You can go find that at highonandroid.com. Go to fastboot.zip and ADB drivers and go ahead and download the Android um, USB driver for Windows. Go ahead and download this and install it. You should be good to go. Also, you do need to get a fast boot version of your firmware. A very good site where you can download is xiaomifirmware.com. Go here and do a search for your firmware. So Xiaomi Mi 9, if you do a search there, you'll see uh, you'll see download official Mui ROMs. All right, you'll want the official Mui ROMs. Now, very important, um, just make sure you don't flash global on Chinese models. If you live in China for some reason, or um, then you'll have to grab the China ROM. Uh, I do have, I have the international version, the global version. So I'm gonna go ahead and download the global version. Now with the global model like I have here, you can actually install any of this, but I do recommend um, the global ROM. Go ahead and download one of the latest fast boot firmware. So I go ahead and download the fast boot version of 10.2.6.0. Now, once you recover your phone, you can go ahead and install other firmware ROMs or whatever. So I grab this. You should see a file ending in like .tgz. Now you have to unzip this. So go ahead and um, install 7-zip, all right, 7-zip file manager. And you're gonna be able to uh, unzip this. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into my download folder here. And I'm gonna go ahead and double click on Cepheus Global Images, my firmware file. And I'm gonna go ahead and extract it. All right, extract it into your downloads folder. And then you're gonna have to extract this tar file, which have will have all the files you want. All right, uh, once that's downloaded, go up to back to downloads folder and you'll see that new file, the tar file. And you're gonna go ahead and basically um, extract this folder. So go ahead and hit extract and make a folder name. I don't know, I'm just gonna call it firmware so it's easy to find. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna just call it Mi 9 firmware. And this will extract all the files you need. Same Android version. For example, if you already upgraded to Pi firmware, but if you flash Oreo firmware, it can potentially break your device. So just make sure the version you're installing is the same Android version. All right, once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and um, run the Mi Flash. Uh, it's the it's the Xiao Mi Flash program. You should have installed this earlier. And once you get here, you can go ahead and select um, select and go to your downloads folder and go ahead and the uh, go ahead and find the folder where you unzipped it. For me, it's going to be under Mi Nine Firmware and then the Cepheus Global Images folder. All right, and go ahead and hit refresh. And if you have the drivers installed correctly, you should see your device show up here. If you don't see it, make sure you install the ADB drivers. And also very important, um, if you choose the default option, clean all and lock, it may lock your bootloader. So just do clean all. Yes, this will erase everything. You may try to save user data if you want. If you were on stock movie firmware, you can go ahead and choose that. But I'm gonna go ahead and just clean all and I'm gonna hit flash. And this should, uh, start flashing the stock firmware back on there. And you can see it's working. Um, so give it, you know, a few, few minutes and it should reboot by itself when it's done. And you should be back on your track um, to doing whatever you were doing before. Yeah. Hi guys, so as you can see, flash is done and my phone rebooted and you should be back on MUI stock firmware. At this point, you can go ahead and use it um, with the stock ROM, obviously, uh, or go ahead and reroute it, uh, install custom ROM, blah, blah, blah. But you should be good to go. Anyway, guys, have a great day. You can find all the links in the description below. Um, have a great day. As always, stay.